Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making peanut butter energy balls. These are one of my favorite snacks to have after the gym and there's no baking required. So it's a super simple recipe and I hope you guys enjoy it. You just grab a bowl and I'm using two-thirds of a cup of peanut butter. You can use any kind of nut butter you want. Um, I tried to get into almond butter. I don't like it as much. I'm a big peanut butter fan so I am using peanut butter. So combine the peanut butter, vegetable oil, and then you want to add your canvas oil. So whichever you're feeling, whatever your tolerance is, you decide, everybody is different. So add as much or as little as you want, or you don't even have to add any if you don't want to and you just like this recipe. But I'm just gonna add about six milliliters. And then you just want to combine our butter with our oils. Okay, and once you mix your oils with your butter, you can add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna add one cup of quick oats, half a cup of chocolate chips. I chose to use mini chocolate chips because they're super cute. And then one fourth of a cup of honey. So you can use a guave, kind of whatever, whatever you're more into. I like honey. And then this stuff is optional, you can add some coconut. Um, I have some fresh coconut that I'm gonna grate a little bit in. All right, and then you just wanna mix this all together. Okay, and then once you mix all the ingredients together, you can roll them into balls. So it's a pretty simple recipe, super easy. I mean, if you're vegan or you want it to be a little bit healthier, you can always switch up the recipe a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I just put lotion on my hands or something. Okay, anyways, and then to finish it off, I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of fresh coconut. Once you are done garnishing them and baking them, <laughs> you didn't bake them. Once you're done preparing them and garnishing them, you can put them in the fridge and they're ready to eat. This is completely unrelated, but I was really craving a Caesar while I was making my energy balls. So for anyone who knows me, uh, any restaurant that I'm a regular at knows that I'm obsessed with Caesars. I have this like, I don't know, it's actually a crazy obsession. I I can drink a Caesar at like 2 a.m. I feel like a lot of people think I'm crazy for doing that, but um, yeah. So first you wanna take a fruit, whether it's a lemon or a lime, rim the glass with celery salt. Um, I like a thin layer like this, and then you wanna use a pint glass. So you always want the glass filled with a lot of ice. That's definitely the key, number one. Um, I like to put some celery in it. Mostly for decor, but whatever. Okay, and then you want about an ounce of vodka. I mean, I'm gonna free pour this, like American style, you know? So I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be an ounce, but you want like an ounce of vodka. I also like my Caesars super spicy. So most of the times when I go to a bar, they don't make it spicy enough because they think three drops is spicy. But for me, I <laughs> it's bad. I don't know why I, I wanted to like burn my throat. So anyways, so I like my Caesars extra spicy and also extra muddy. So when someone asks for an, a muddy Caesar, it means a lot of uh, Worcestershire sauce. So I like it pretty muddy. And then my favorite ingredient to add into a Caesar is olives. So I'm a big olive fan. I mean, I feel like olives are such a hit or miss because a lot of people don't like olives. Um, 
but I love all of you so mine. So see how your glass is already pretty much full? And then this is the topper. So you wanna shake it up and pour in. So this has nothing to do with protein balls because they don't mix together whatsoever. But I was just kind of craving one of these and uh, I want to show you guys how to make it. If you guys have never tried a Caesar before, you should try one. I'm sorry, Americans, but Bloody Mary is not the same. You need, you need a Caesar. So cheers. Actually, I need to stir it first. Okay, cheers. <laughs> So after you put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour, they're, they're pretty solid. They're, they're a good texture. 